you know. Okay. Okay, again, this is Jonathan Coleman again. It's uh, Thursday, August 30th. And we've had these, you can see by our sign, this is where our field trial is in progress. These are the same trees, Valencia's, that we previously looked at to the north. But these have been treated with our jades, what we've put on it so far, based on my observation and my reading the samples and knowing hopefully what to do. Uh, and today, again, today is the 30th. So let's go in and walk and we're gonna do the same thing as we did back there. And you're gonna see a difference. As you can see right now here, we still got fruit drops. So I can't tell you honestly at this point to make a dirt determination which who has more fruit drops, the treated, which is this, trees, uh, or the untreated. But look, what I do wanna emphasize here is look at the uniformity of the fruit side. I mean, it's, it's evident, look at the uniformity. And now I think this has a lot to do, yes, there be, our original intention here was with our, our Fosgard product, okay, HLB, to help slow down greening. Because we don't have a cure for greening. Nobody does. And we're not claiming that to you. What we're saying is can our program reduce the incidence until we find a cure? But again, look at the uniformity of the fruit. And this is so evident compared to what we just looked at. Not to say that occasionally you won't find a bigger fruit here, but the overall the fruit is bigger. Okay, uniformity. See if you could get these up here of the fruit. Now let's go down another tree to another tree. So you don't think that we're picking on a specific tree. Again, you can see, look at the uniformity of the fruit. Un incredible how the fruit is all uniform in size. I believe that's an effect of our C-Max product. But that's not what we started out to do here. Now I want, we're gonna shoot some of the trees. You, there's just, if you notice, there's nowhere near the amount of HLB showing up. It's still here, yes, it's here. But if you find it, it's on smaller leaves and it's even hard to find. I had to walk all day yesterday to get a sample, a tissue sample. You don't see the greening on the bigger leaves like we saw down there. So we didn't cure it. But somehow with a combination of the C-Max and our Fosgard HLB and our other, our biomin nutrients, we have slowed down the greening because it was just as bad here as it was down there when we started this, this whole project six or eight weeks ago. And we still gotta make some more treatments. But again, you're gonna find some greening, but if you see from the other video, there's nowhere near the greening, let's go over here. where we've been treating, and it's had four or five treatments. Again, look at the uniformity of fruit size. It's incredible, the difference. Now, will this equate to more money for the grower? I can't answer that, because we don't know what the pound solids are gonna be right now, but so, at some point we can. Now here, you have greening, okay, but you don't have it on as big a lease as you saw it down there. So did this program we have it on, not program, but our products, in combination with the C-Max, did this reduce the amount of greening? Because it's, it's not there. And I, and I have soil samples I took yesterday. We have to wait to get those back. But again, look at the uniformity of fruit size. Now there's a smaller one. That's understandable, that's mother nature. But look at the overall uniformity of the fruit size. Um, and again, take a shot of the ground. Sometimes under one tree, you'll see a little more fruit drop, but that can be caused by a lot of factors. I don't know the exact age of these trees or when they were planted, but this grow has been here a long time, this family grow. And over the course of their life, I'm sure they went through a lot of things. But this is my observation, and everybody has a different observation at times, but there's no doubt that there seems to be, there seems to be in my mind at this point, and we're not done with this trial yet, much less green. Now here you can see a couple of trees died out. so. Normally there would be three trees there, two or three trees. I don't know what the I don't know what the spacing here is of that grove, but there's at least two trees that were taken out and not replaced. Uh, the intention may be to at some point replace, you know, replace the whole grove with the greening situation. But this is a good shot again. Look up in here, and this is a secondary observation, the uniformity of these fruit compared to 
the untreated. All right, let's go down again. Right, this road goes down for half, three quarters of a mile. What you just, I don't see. I, I don't know what you're gonna see. I don't see the amount of greening that we saw down in the untreated. And it was as bad here when we started. It was just as bad. Again, I'm not making a claim that we cure greening, but it seems like we're onto something here with our products and scientific and just farmer knowledge, we're seeing a difference you know, in the amount of greening. How will that equate to yield? I, I don't know at this point. Hopefully when we harvest these Valencias, we'll see it. But again, uniformity of fruit size. Um, and and I, much less greening. So basically, you know, we're, in, we're still in the early stages of this and we're gonna work and be diligent um, over the next year. And we're also gonna hopefully get this program growing just south of here on some commercial groves that are in better shape overall. That's not saying anything bad about this grove, but this is an older grove. As you can see, the weed growth, uh, they allow a little more weed growth, which affects the tree's ability to take up nutrients, but that's just what it is. But if we get something going down the street, we're gonna see uh, hopefully even more. So anyways, that's it really at this point. Um, all right, we're, I'm done with that.